Happy Monday! It is the start of our first full week of school with students, virtually of course, um, and we're about to get started. Today we are going to be teaching math, well I'll be teaching math and we're introducing science into it and I'm going to be trying small groups digitally for the first time. I'm a little bit nervous, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I woke up super late this morning. Um, my boyfriend woke me up because my alarm didn't go off, so luckily he called me. So I don't have any makeup on, as you can see, and I just feel like I'm not ready, and I feel like my kids also may not be ready right now. Um, so right now what I need to do is I need to get my kids ready for specials digitally um, because that's not ready, and I, need to, I wanna email parents and just let them know that I appreciate their patience, um, and I understand that this is a hard time and I just thank them and I hope that they're patient with me because again, we've only had three full days of school so I'm trying to still figure some things out. Um, but yeah, here we go. Happy Monday. All right, so I've let my students know what specials we have. The kids will have PE this week. So virtually from nine to 10 every day, they're gonna go to PE on our digital learning platform and they're gonna do some asynchronous, which means like pre-recorded lessons. Um, don't know how that's gonna work, but also that's not really my thing. Um, today I have on my jean jacket, uh, which is like so tea tree. I never really wear them, but I know it's like every teacher staple. So I wore one today because I figured I'd be getting cold. Um, I actually wore real teacher clothes today, so we aren't really required to. Um, but I wore a blouse from um, Loft and then just some white pants. And then I accented it with some red flats to go with my um, rainbow earrings that are my absolute favorite and I have the blue mask to match the blue in my earrings. So that is my teacher fit of the day. I did want to wear a real teacher outfit today because I'm going to be trying to teach full body today um, at the front of the board. So I want to give you guys some footage of that a little bit later. So I wanted to give you guys a quick little run through of what we will be doing today before my computer dies. Um, so we typically do morning meeting for the first 10 minutes of class and I have like what we're going to do for morning meeting and materials. Today my partner and I have to have like a come to Jesus talk with both of our classes so we'll be, we'll be doing that jointly so that's blank today um, and then when my students come to math this is what they'll see I always have this projected on the screen on the zoom at least for when the students come in um, they see this there's music playing in the background and so today for math we plan to do some number talks for the first time I'll have my math mini lesson um, flip grid and then small groups and then this just tells the students what they need they have digital journals as well but we won't be using them today so that's why it says paper math journal and they'll need a pencil um, so these are our number talks. I have the number talks hand signals on there for the students. Um, again, this will be our first time, so I want to just practice using those signals first, and then we'll get started with number talks. They are fifth graders, so they should be pretty familiar with how number talks work. Um, but just in case they aren't, we're going to review that, of course. And then the mini lesson. So it's really important that my students know that during the mini lesson, you watch me, you do not work, you do not write, your eyes are on me. So I put lots of emojis to remind them. This is our learning target. Today we will, we will be beginning um, 5MBT5, which is basically um, multiplication, multiplying three digit by two digit numbers. Um, and by the end of the week, they're expect, or by the end of the standard, they're expected to know how to do the standard algorithm. But today we're gonna just be starting this standard. So we're gonna just hit the area model to um, refresh their memories. So I will model the first problem. So that's why it says, look at me. The students will see me model that. And then we will do this together and they'll do this in their journal while I do it on the board. That's why it says you're it. And then for a closing, they will be doing um, the summarizer on Flipgrid, which is embedded into our digital learning platform. And then for science, we're gonna be going over our digital journals for the first time. So going to their digital science journal for the first time. They're gonna do notice and wonders about cells. We're gonna explore some different magnification tools and then they're gonna do a Nearpod matching activity for closing. And here it just lets them know that they don't need any materials that they may have at home. They just need to make sure that they're listening and paying attention. As I stated before, we had three days of school last week um, and every single day was a trial and error. Today is gonna to be a continuation of trial and error when it comes to the small groups and how I have my setup. So today I'm gonna to share with you how I am trying to be two places at once. Um, so I'm gonna have my computer set up facing the board while I'm teaching standing up and then I'm gonna have my kids on a separate monitor or a separate computer and I'm gonna be a participant in that Zoom call um, and that will allow me to share from my document camera but also watch all the kids 
in grid view while they're watching me whole group. Um, not sure how it's going to work, but I'm going to try to capture it and let you guys see how it goes. And yeah. Also, one thing I wanted to remind or I forgot to say before is that I wear yellow um, because my friend Tiffany on Instagram, her name is Diavion Blue Innovations. She encourages teachers to wear uh, yellow on Mondays to start their week off in a bright way. So um, after the way last week ended, how tired I was and all the hiccups, I needed a bright start for this week. So that is why I'm wearing yellow today. I think I forgot to tell you guys this too, but um, typically I have on makeup for my Zooms, but today I'm just so tired that I don't even care. Um, also, just to show you the true life of a teacher, um, this is my go-to breakfast lately. Uh, typically I make my own, but I stopped at Quick Trip and got um, a little protein shake, meal replacement shake, um, but I've already started to drink my energy drink, um, and that's what's going to get me through today before my kids start. I have about an hour left to get some things ready. The kids come on at 10. Um, so wish me luck and I'll try to capture some things that we do. slight panic right now um my whole powerpoint that i just showed you guys that has my whole math lesson for the day um i can't get to work i can't project to the screen from this device and my other device doesn't have all my fonts and i just feel like i'm about to lose everything and i'm trying not to freak out but i am freaking out um i need to be ready in less than 40 minutes to teach kids and now i have to figure out how to make this powerpoint work on another computer <laughs> It's okay, I'll be okay. All right, so how I plan to get around um, the fonts not being on the other computer that I need to use to project today um, because I can't connect to my projector is I saved every slide as a PNG picture and now I'm just pasting that picture on top of a blank slide. Um, so none of the things will be um, editable. But luckily I made it to where I won't really need to edit much um, on the PowerPoints because this will just be presenting information to the students so I'm able to at least get around that but um, as you can see this can be a bit time-consuming for the number of slides that I have actually I think that's the last one so now what I'm gonna do is just email this to myself so that I can access it on the additional computer so that I am able to extend the screen all right I want to very quickly go over my um, my setup for today i had to make sure i wrote it on a sticky note because i forget um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to project anything that needs to be presented to the to the students through here but anything that needs to be presented on the board will go through this device i'm going to be um mostly zooming through here so that my students can see me from this computer here and then i'm going to use this computer once this is projected i'm going to use this to look at the grid view of my students so i can see their faces while i'm teaching at the board um and this clicker will help me you know control everything wish me luck it's going to be a lot of finagling um but we're going to do the best that we can and you see i have my base 10 blocks ready for math today <laughs>
just finished my first rotation um, with my first block and I would have to say that the lesson went pretty well. Um, it felt good to write on a whiteboard again and do math with my students. Um, I got really hot clearly so I had to get out of my jacket um, because real teaching like you're moving around and doing things. It was a little weird to jump from one computer to the next and back and forth um, and making sure you're muted on this one and not muted on the other or whatever. Um, but I think the lesson went really well. It seemed like the kids were excited to finally do like math, like real math and not just the, you know, fluff back to school activities. And we did science and so that was fun too. Um, so this is just a midday check-in. I'm gonna go eat my lunch now and try to get some things ready for tomorrow so I'm not cramming in the morning like I was today. And then we'll do the afternoon session and I'll check back in with you guys later. I just finished up my second session of the day. It went pretty well. You can still see some math behind us. Um, my second block of the day is um, we, our second block of the day is our, my gifted and high accelerated group for math. Um, so it tends to go a little bit faster, um, even though I differentiate for them. But all in all, it, today was really good. And for me to be as tired as I was, and to be quite honest, just like not really in the mood, Today went really well and I'm really happy with how things turned out th um, today. So day one is down for our first full week of school. We have four more to go. Um, yeah, and that's it. So thanks for coming. Oh, um, next what we do is I will have office hours from three o'clock to 3.45 where students and parents can just check in. Um, I haven't really had students and parents check in all that much. Um, but I think once we start content, I think there will be more questions and things of that nature. So um, I'm gonna just stick around for office hours and then I actually have to head out of class on time or leave school on time today because I have to go get a dress fitting for a wedding. Um, and I'm never the teacher that leaves on time, but I will keep you posted on how the rest of the day goes, but I think I'm gonna try to get ahead on some plans for the week so that I'm not drowning.